Not too bad. We have some interesting guests, and let's start with the first one. We have Donna D. Giuseppe, and she is the author of a book called Lady and Ermine, the story of the woman who painted the Renaissance, which sounds like a great uh, story for a movie, and it will be. It's all about the great Renaissance painter Sofonisba Anguissola. And um, Donna, first of all, uh, you're no stranger to this neck of the woods because you went to Cal. What is it about um, Sofonisba that just uh, fascinated you so much? Well, she lived an incredibly long life, for one thing, around 90 years. She accomplished so much in the face of an era when women were discriminated against. It, she broke barriers, and she did it all with such flourish. Her artwork is absolutely stunning, and it's found all over Europe and North America, right under our fingertips, and yet her whole story was forgotten about for centuries. So it's just been a wonderful enterprise to bring out her history and highlight her art and her story and to show how she broke all these molds and we're just really coming to learn about her now. Oh, so, Donna. Um, yeah. Donna, this is Jan Wall. This book is amazing. I couldn't put it down literally. There's so much about the courts and the rich intrigues. Uh, it's like a historical feast because you also get the court of the Medicis and this incredible, dangerous, sexy, weird world that she had to operate in of uh, nobles and prince and princesses who were all about murder and blackmail. And I don't know how this woman ever found time to paint. Isn't it amazing? And she weaves in and out of their story, but it's all based on her true history. Mm -hmm. um, you know, of course... Lady and Ermine fictionalizes aspects of her life, but all those events from the court, the de' Medici, her time in Sicily, all of the artists she inter influenced and um, who she collaborated with, all that's true. The, the mm. Michelangelo, the Pope, um, the, the Queen of France. I mean, she was a Forrest Gump of the Renaissance mm. and a woman. <laughs> Well, That's not bad. You know, back. as someone who studied art history, I was always um, 